hello welcome back if question 2 is the first video you are seeing in this playlist please kindly go to my youtube channel there is a playlist titled igcse mathematics paper 4 3 may june 2024 uh, the first video is there so question 2a the nth term of a sequence is 420 minus n to the power of 3 find the fourth term of this sequence okay so the fourth term will be equals to 120 minus 4 to the power of 3 so that will be 120 minus 64 okay so that will be 56 Roman figure 2 find the value of n when the nth term is minus 1 to 1 1 that is minus 1211 so that will be uh, minus 1 to 1 1 to be equals to 120 minus n to the power of 3. We need to find the value of n. So if we rearrange, let's bring n to the left hand side, it will become positive. n to the power of 3 then equals to 120 add 1 to 1 1. So that will be n cubed to be equals to 1. 3, 3, 1. So if you take cube roots of both sides, okay, so this we go, we have n to be equals to 11. So n equals to 11. Part B, the nth term of a different sequence is 3 times 0 0.2 to the power of negative n, uh, to the power of n negative 1. Find the fifth term of this sequence. So the fifth term implies n equals to 5. So that will be 3 times, open bracket, 0 0.2 to the power of uh, 5 minus 1, that is 4. So you can easily input this into your calculator and get your answer straight away. So let's do that. We have 3 multiplied by, so you need a bracket, 0 0.2 bracket close to the power of 4. So you have this, so you hit enter, so you get 14. 48 oh sorry not 48 you need to come back here this is 0 0.2 okay yes that's correct so you hit enter so you get a fraction so let's convert this to decimal that is 4.8 times 10 to the power of 3 so that is 4.8 times 10 to the power of 3 which is equals to 0 0.00 48 so you can write 0 0.0048 or 4.8 times 10 to the power of 3 okay since there is no condition to write it in standard form so you could choose any form you want okay so let's go to the next question so question 2c the table shows the first four terms of sequences a b and c complete the table for each sequence okay so if you look into the first one for sequence a we have difference of negative 3 that is 4 minus 7, okay, so that will be negative 3. Then 1 minus 4, that will be negative 3. Then minus 2 minus 1, that will be negative 3. So that is the uh, common difference. So we can see that the n term equals to uh, minus 3n. But let's see if this will give us each of the terms of sequence A minus 3 times n so uh, when n is close to 1 that will be minus 3 but we need to get 7 so that means minus 3 plus 10 is what will be the nth term that is minus 3 plus 10 that will give us 7 so that means the nth term should be minus 3n plus 10 because minus 3n uh, does not give us the exact number here so let's test uh, this formula if it is okay for each of the terms okay so for second term n equals to 2 we have minus 3 times 2 that is minus 6 minus 6 plus 10 that will be 4 so for the third one so n equals to 3 negative 3 times 3 that will be negative 9 negative 9 plus 10 that will be positive 1 so we have minus 3 n plus 10 okay for sequence b we have 1 over 4, we have 2 over 5, 3 over 6, and 4 over 7. 
So if you observe this very well, if you subtract this from this, okay, and subtract this from this, you will not get common difference. So we don't have common ratio as well. So then we need to uh, study the numerators and the denominators, okay? So for the numerators, see that it increase, uh, it in, uh, the sequence increases by one. So one, two, three, four. So that will be N will be on top, okay? So over for the denominator, we have four, five, six, seven. It also uh, increases by one, but it does not start from one, okay? So this is, uh, the, if you have n to be here, so this is 1, okay? So for you to, when n is 1, so 1 to get 4, that will be 1 plus 3, that will be 4. So when n is 2, so you want to get 2 plus 3, that is 5, okay? And for 6, that is uh, 3 plus 3. So that means the denominator will be n plus 3, okay? So as simple as that, okay? So let's test it for the fourth one when n equals to 4. So we have 4 over 4 plus 3, that is 7. So that's pretty correct. So for the uh, third sequence, so you have 0, 2, 6, and 12. So let's get the um, common difference, 2 minus 0. So that will give us 2. 6 minus 2, that will give us 4. 12 minus 6, that will give us 6. So at first difference, we don't have common difference. So this is the first difference. So let's check the second difference. 4 minus 2, that will be 2. 6 minus 4, that will be 2. As second uh, difference, we have a common difference. So that implies that, uh, that implies we have, uh, that implies a quadratic sequence. So uh, when you have this quadra a quadratic sequence, so the first thing you need to do is to um, divide the common difference by 2 and multiply by n squared. So the common difference is 2. So you have uh, that's 2 divided by 2 multiplied by n squared. So this will be the starting point, So which is equals to n squared. So we're going to use this to form a new sequ sequence. So don't forget that the old sequence is um, 0. Okay, this is the old sequence. Okay, that will be 0, 2, 6, 12. So the new sequence, okay, will be formed from this, okay? So when n equals to 1, you have 1 squared. When n equals to 2, you have 2 squared, that is 4. 3 squared, that is 9. 4 squared, that is 16. So let's uh, subtract this and see what we have. So 0 minus 1, that will be minus 1. 2 minus 4, that will be minus 2. 6 minus 9, that will be negative 3. And then 12 minus 16 that will be negative 4 okay so for this now you see that uh, we have uh, a linear uh, sequence again okay so if we try to find the common difference now so here it will be uh, minus 2 minus minus 1 so that will give us a minus 2 minus minus 1 like this so this will turn to positive so it will be minus 1. So the uh, common difference equals to minus 1. So you can say minus 1 multiplied by n. Okay, then, so that's the nth term for this linear sequence. So then let's see if this will give us each of the terms. So uh, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times 2, minus 2, minus 1 times 3, minus 3. So that is pretty easy. So uh, we are okay. So let's combine the two answers. So this is the first answer for the n term, that is n squared. And the second answer will be minus 1 n. So that means the n term for that sequence C will be n squared minus 1 n, which is minus n. Okay, so we can go back to the table and put uh, this there. So n squared minus 1 n. So this will be the uh, solution. Okay, to this uh, question. So let's see, do you have any other question left? No. So that is the end of my solution to question two. So in the next video, I will solve question three. Until then, have your fingers crossed.